So you don't have an AMS, but you still want to make multicolor prints. That's fine. Let's take a look at how to do that. So we're here in Bamboo Studio, and with the AMS, you have the luxury of painting things the correct colors and then just sending it to your printer and it'll print correctly. Alternatively, you can do it in the slice where you go and you do a color change at a certain layer. And so you can see that here, it's sliced. It'll do the automatic color change if you have an AMS. If you don't have an AMS, it's pretty straightforward. It's very similar to the color change, except for you're gonna add a pause. So you're gonna go down to the level you want and insert a pause. And a trick here is to actually, instead of sliding from the top down, we're actually gonna slide from the bottom up. And so basically anything that's left on the screen is gonna be your next color. So if I just want this portion here to be yellow, that's when I'm gonna right click on the plus button. I'm gonna add a pause. And at that location, when it pauses, I'm gonna do a color change at the printer. And then that's gonna be a separate color. So in this case, I'm gonna go from blue to yellow, and then we'll have a dual color part. This is especially handy on a sign part. So here we have a subscribe sign where I've done the two same things at the top here. I've done a multicolor in Bamboo Studio, and then I've done a color change on this top right. And so you can see with both of these that the color is automatically added if you were to have an AMS. But then here, if you slide up from the bottom, you slide to the point where that base disappears. And so the reason that's important is that if you go from the top and you just go till you're flat, this entire flat portion is gonna be your next color, in this case, white, and we don't want that. So it makes a lot more sense to come from the bottom here and just till it disappears. And so what's left on the screen, that's gonna be your next color. Again, you're gonna right click here. We're gonna add a pause. And at the printer, we're gonna switch colors at that pause. So we've sliced this plate and we can see that it is entirely red compared to these other two where you'll have a color difference. But this is all red, it's got a pause and we can send that over to the printer without the AMS. And we'll just do a color change at the pause. Now I have the first color, which is red, loaded up into the printer and we're gonna start the print. And then when it pauses, we'll do a filament change. And so now I've received a notification that the A1 Mini printing has paused. So I can go into the user interface here. Oh, printing is paused. I'm going to hit close. I'm going to go into my filament and I'll unload. Now the printer is going to heat the nozzle to 250. It's going to check the filament location with its sensor and then it's going to cut the filament automatically and all we're going to have to do is pull back the filament manually when it prompts us on the screen. Now we're going to switch to white, which is our second color. And we're going to hit load. Now the nozzle is going to heat back up to 250 degrees Celsius and you have to feed the filament in manually all the way to the hot end. At this stage you'll have to inspect the nozzle to see if any plastic has come out. It's not super obvious at this stage but it's a little bit that oozes out the end. Once you say done, there's going to be very obvious amounts of plastic coming out of the nozzle and you'll be sure that you've loaded it correctly. You can see here that the red doesn't totally get purged out and so I opted to do an additional load in order to get to pure white before starting the print again. Now that we've loaded it, we can come back and we can resume operation.